Welcome all. Welcome, Everett Todd. You're not supposed to start a crowdfunding without a finished product that you need help taking to the mass market. I don't necessarily agree with that. Like, especially like you need to have a good portion of the book done. I try to have at least half of the book complete before I launch. Like, a, like nowadays you need to have pretty much close to the book being done, especially with how competition has gone with, uh, you know, the Ripaverse having, like, doing pretty much instantaneous fulfillment. But, like, I don't necessarily agree. Not everybody's going to be bringing in millions of dollars on a campaign, and most of us are doing this on top of actual day jobs and everything like that. I don't think that you need to have the full book before you start crowdfunding. You need to have a sizable amount of it done to showcase that there is, you know, you have invested into it. Um, but like in an ideal world, I would say that this is accurate, but most people that are making comics in the indie space, like crowdfunding is the way to ensure that they can finish production and try and get back some of their overhead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like, we don't have mass market distribution and most of us will not be able to get that because the requirements to get into like diamond, you're talking hundreds of thousands of copies available for them to distribute. Uh, and they want multiple titles of that. Like it's just not realistic for, for where we are in terms of scale. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get your point. Um, Everett, this is, but this is what I mean that um, that um, uh, results like this, like this campaign, they they affect F everyone, so all small creators also, because people begin to demand that the book is mostly done or completely done, which Change to me, uh, which to me goes against the principle of crowdfunding. You uh, you crowdfund to produce something, right? And mm. if we, we start to demand that books are finished before you can even crowdfund, then most books will, will never see the light uh, of day because they can't, they can't be produced, you know? It's, it's not cheap. Um, no. On, on average, I would say the indie comic costs anywhere between 200 to $300 a page uh, for pencils, inks, colors, letters. Yeah. Um, and those are for like the quality ones, um, right? Like that, it is it is not an inexpensive ordeal, and people got bills to pay, people got mouths to feed. Um, so I yeah. don't think that that as a as a policy is there because not everybody is coming from a thing where they you know did comics in the mainstream industry and had a part in creating. Yeah massive characters so they get residual checks every couple of months whenever that character is used right like it like it, it's not that's not something that most people get most of us are just trying to get our names in and who knows maybe one day we're able to make a stepping stone into a larger publisher like image or or you know boom or wh whomever right like maybe one day we're able to get to that point but we're doing this out of a labor of love and we've got to be able to take care of what we do at home. And that's, that's important. Sure. Yeah. And, 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 and per personal, personally, I don't really care how far a book is into production. Yeah. Right? I go to a, uh, to campaign page. I see something that I like. I see uh, the date. Maybe it's, it's, it's estimated the date of delivery then and then, then, right. I don't care if, if it's 100% done or 25% or even zero, as long as the book is done um, on that, uh, yeah. when it on says that yeah. that it's done, right? Yeah. That's it. That's all that I care about and how people do it. That's that's their problem. That's not, yeah, my, uh, not my problem, right? 